For a second consecutive night at home, the Oilers go to overtime. Unlike Saturday, there would be no happy ending for the Rogers place faithful. Thanks to Miko Koivu tucking home the winner 3-11 into the extra frame as Edmonton falls 2-1. You know, for us to, to scratch and claw and get a point, uh, I don't want to say we're satisfied, but it, it, was, it was good to get that. Um, I didn't think we had the energy level or the polish that we needed to beat a good defensive team tonight. I thought we could have played a little better. I know we're on a back-to-back, -back, but that shouldn't be an excuse. But uh, we had our chances. You know, we talked about they were going to be a good defensive team, and we had to throw pucks to the net and get second opportunities. But you know, it seems like their transition game was in effect and, uh, in the third period to kind of push us back a little bit. We were frustrated a bit, and you know, I think that's why uh, you know, especially on the power play, we weren't able to capitalize on the chances that we had, and uh, a lot of a lot of shots that were blocked, a lot of shots that missed the net. Um, definitely had our opportunities to get up a goal or two, and uh, we didn't bear down on it. And uh, if you're gonna three, anything can happen. So you know, when it's man on man like that all over the ice, and a guy even has a half step on you, uh, you, you see what can happen. And you know, unfortunately, uh, you know they're able to get that goal in overtime. The single point gives Edmonton 31 on the year, tying the team with Idol San Jose for first in the Pacific Division. Jonas Gustafsson making just his third start of the season was solid, kicking away 31 shots. Connor McDavid was sent to the Oilers dressing room in the second period by the league concussion spotter. McDavid went through proper protocol and says he feels fine and that there are no symptoms of a concussion. The Oilers now hit the road for three straight starting in Buffalo Tuesday night. Tom Gazzola, Oilers TV.